Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ape and Eric. Today we're going to check out this interesting game on the PlayStation 5 called The Plane Effect. Seems like a, a quirky little in, uh, indie game. So there's normal, narrative hint, and guided. So um, we're going to do, do for the essence of this, of this first impressions video, we will do guided just to kind of smooth things along. I thought the artwork and the premise of this game looked pretty good. And I say that about a lot of indie games. But, you know, the usuals here. I mean, like, look at this. This is like some kind of like artsy farty, like Pixar, <laughs> Pixar Studios type of thing. You know, guy in the office, dark, only, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, so the plain effect. Oh, photo? going on here is that like a family photo that he had at one point or something i don't know so we're just going to briefly take a look at this play like 10 minutes or so um i have a feeling a game like this is a bit more of a slower pace um title than uh than what a first impression video. oh look we got a plane that's kind of cool i like the music uh, i'm sure you can and look around and see all sorts of different stuff. They got a lot of uh, bugs in this office. Look underneath those lights. Right. Looks like the door is locked. Gotta find a switch or something. Boom. Oh, I just turned out all of the freaking lights. My character, your character, don't run. Wait, yeah. Alright, grab plane now. I think I guess that's what it was pointing me to. Could you imagine if I didn't do the guide? <laughs> like guide myself? At least guiding makes it feel like um a little bit more faster paced than me sitting here fumbling. Trying to figure out exactly what I'm doing. So I'm playing the PlayStation 5 version, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what this game is on. Uh, lots of time people ask me that. I just turn the game on and play it. I'm pretty sure this is on Xbox at least. Maybe even we have to go get a jacket or something. But grab our jacket. I probably could have grabbed that initially, early on in the game. Hey, right, let's. The world has a head. Oh, okay. Nice little intro to the game. Little cutscene. I like the music. Piano is always good. It's always relaxing. Look at this, like the art design and stuff. I can get behind this. This is something that I think I'm going to probably have to come back to eventually. Who knows how long this game is, honest. Playing a little bit of everything lately, if you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> Just trying to touch base on the indie stuff that's in, uh, you know. The library of both Xbox, which even uh, PlayStation. So, a little bit of everything on the 8 bit air channel. Hope you guys enjoy it. I know Let's Plays aren't the most exciting content in 2021, but, uh, you know, better than nothing, right? So, I appreciate you guys being here. So I'm wondering if the game has like a Mandela effect thing to it or something. <laughs> Up oh, trophy just for uh for playing. <laughs> Gotta love those. For the tube. And I like that even though you play guided mode you still get Trophy, unless I'm sure there's probably trophies that are locked behind um, 
playing certain modes and stuff. Most most games have that. Whoa. Kind of hard to tell where you're going. And little parts of the wall and stuff are up like that. The subway. It reminds me of back when I was in LA. Having to go to the sub, the metro, and buy cards and put money on them and stuff. Reminds me of. Oh, my coin is just. Oh, my guy's a mess. No money. Tries to pay. His coin falls. I wonder if this game gets creepy later on, like if there's some kind of like weird paranormal <laughs> situation that comes out of it. Love's on the uh rack, that's not exactly that smart. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That wasn't smart, buddy. Getting on the track, grabbing gloves, in your life. Now I magically up on the other side of the rail. How did that happen? Why am I over here fixing power? <laughs> like, where, where's, where's everybody else in this world? All right, guiding ourselves. Button, a button. Oh, take it. I took it. Right. I'm the train. I like the art design. It's like simplistic yet detailed in its own way. Just the way that it just looks. It reminds me of like early PC games. Too. Early 3D. Polygonal. <laughs> Why is it keep telling me to do I'm just going to get on the train. There we go. Bye. Alicia. So this game's not exactly like a puzzler, not exactly a platformer. So far it's coming to like a slow, um, like a simmer. Like building up the anticipation and stuff. And of course, 10 minute video can't, uh, 10 minute video cannot, uh, give it a game like this. Justice, you know, this is something a little bit more narrative based, something a little bit more slow paced, something to keep your eye on and stuff. But I do like what I'm initially seeing here. Uh, I'm curious as to how long this game actually. There's a lot of indie games out there that are like less than three to five hours long. So I don't see this game being particularly too long, especially if just, you know, a simple type of game. I mean, I guess we can trophies. And Mark, so 34 trophies. So, decent amount of trophies here. Some hidden ones as well. Um, I like what I'm seeing. Take a look at this. I, I like what I'm seeing. Oh, a drone. I just got killed by a drone. So I guess stuff can kill you eventually in this game. <laughs> um, but, you know, again, first impressions videos do not do any like this justice. Gotta kind of, I guess I'm not supposed to walk over the red part. Gotta wait. I guess that's like this city's way of making sure people don't jaywalk. <laughs> Zap you if you cross the red line. Not supposed to. That's actually kind of fun. Why is it not letting me pay phone? Oh, because of the coin. I dropped a coin in the middle of the uh, of the road.
Grab the coin. That pay from. Okay, um, not letting me use the payphone. Crossing up. Who's... Feels pretty cool, like, now we're actually like, in a city environment. Now we're using a payphone that actually works. Who here remembers payphones? <laughs> I do. I actually seen some recently. I was like, oh wow. I almost wanted to use it. Like, yo, I'm on a payphone trying to phone home all of my change I spent on you. <laughs> Enough cringe. Call him a taxi or what? Taxi. Yeah, call him a taxi. This guy just, this game just seems so like bad and stressful. Guidey. Guy just seems bad, doesn't he? What am I supposed to do? I called the taxi. Or he can get killed by a... by a car. Oh, that was a close call. Uh, what was the point of calling the taxi, man? What's going on there? Okay, the plot is thickening. That was like a bird bat thing that <laughs> landed on a on a building or something. on this I know th to some people this might not be the most exciting game to watch but it's actually kind of intriguing to see where this is going which is why I'm glad I'm playing it as a uh, a guided mode <laughs> instead of just figuring it out oh why did I why did I do that to the little bird oh okay what in the world why did that just happen That's very, very peculiar, as they would say. <laughs> I needed the taxi to, to wreck, to distract the drone and throw the bird and <laughs> get to this door. Like, what's my guy? Is he a spy or what? I, I have no clue. But as soon as I get through this door, I think we're going to call it a let's play. We'll get back to it. And look, some glitchy stuff is happening I'm back at I'm back at the office wow so it's like a matrix I think that's what type of thing we're gonna see people are watching me there's floating so the plot's thickening and I think there's a good point to uh to leave with no spoilers happening if you want to play this on your own and see yeah I just threw another plane so that gonna cause the office is getting all out discombobulated. It's like Matrix. Something is not what it seems like. See? The Matrix is glitching. Something is... Something's afoot, ladies and gentlemen. We'll leave it there. Maybe I'll come back to a stream and we'll see what happens next. What do you think of this game?